Hello friends, welcome to my channel. Our today's video is about the well defect acceptance or rejection criteria. So in this video, we'll learn about the criteria of acceptance or rejection of well defect by visual inspection. So whenever you are doing visual inspection, you must be aware of the criteria of acceptance or rejection of the well defects and this uh, video is as per ASME B31.1 code. ASME B31.1 code is for power piping. So the well defect acceptance or rejection criteria is given in chapter 6. It is given in chapter 6 of ASME B31.1 code and this is 2022 as version. So as per latest edition that is 2022, the acceptance or rejection criteria is given in chapter 6 and the name of chapter 6 is inspection, examination and testing. So in this chapter 6, you will get the rejection or acceptance criteria of the welding defects. And to be more specific, this uh, ASME 31.1 chapter 6 uh, contents are like, you know, the qualification of ND personnel is also given in this uh, chapter along with the acceptance or rejection criteria of the well defects by the following methods. For visual exam examination, uh, you need to follow para 136.4.2. So all these, you know, it is given in chapter 6 itself. So for uh, if you are doing visual examination, so you need to refer uh, para 136.4.2 for acceptance or rejection criteria by magnetic particle test, you need to refer uh, para 136.4.3. Similarly, for uh, liquid penetrant test, you need to refer 136.4.4 for radiography test, you need to refer 136.4.5 for ultrasonic examination. Similarly, you need to refer 136.4.6. So these are the various NDT methods uh, uh, and the acceptance or cri uh, rejection criteria has been given for these NDT methods in ASIM B31.1. So before starting this uh, uh, video or uh, before uh, moving forward, let me give you a brief introduction of myself. My name is Sandeep Anand. I am having 14 plus years of experience and my website is weldingandndt.com and my YouTube channel is youtube.com slash welding and NDT. So by these modes, by through my website and my YouTube channel, I used to share my knowledge. Friends, if you want to support me financially, that you can do by joining my channel. See, after subscribing my channel, you will see a join icon or a join button. So by pressing that join button, you can become a member of channel and you can support my initiative. Now friends, let's start the topic. Well defect acceptance or rejection criteria by visual inspection is as follows. The following indications are unacceptable. So as per code, they have given the you know limits or the unacceptable criteria means the defects which are unacceptable. So first one is crack. Any type of crack will be unacceptable. So obviously, if you are doing visual inspection, you will see the external surface only. So the crack which will appear on the external surface can be discarded, can be rejected. Then lack of fusion, if there is a lack of fusion on the surface, that is also known as lack of sidewall fusion, that also, that is also unacceptable. Then incomplete penetration. See if you have excess from the inside of the pipe, so you can see the penetration also. So if there is incomplete penetration, that will also be rejected. So these three defects are straightforward rejected. Now for undercut, there are some conditions for undercut. If the undercut is greater than 0.8 mm, if the depth of the undercut is greater than 0.8 mm, then that undercut shall be rejected. However, the depth shall not exceed the minimum required section thickness. See, uh, there is a minimum uh, minimum section thickness that is uh, that is calculated as per ASIM B31.1 and it is given in section 2. So that uh, undercut depth shall not be more than 0.8 mm or it shall not be more than the minimum required thickness which has been calculated by section 8. 
now this is about the undercut on any other weld other than longitudinal butt weld for for uh, like circumferential joint now for longitudinal butt weld if there is longitudinal butt weld in the pipe then undercut is not at all acceptable if there on the longitudinal butt welds on the surface of the longitudinal butt welds <laughs> now weld reinforcement so the excess excess weld metal above the parent metal is known as weld reinforcement so weld reinforcement uh, shall uh, shall not uh, shall not be you know acceptable if it exceeds the uh, you know below table if it exceeds the value which has been given in the below table so in this table suppose if the parent metal thickness is less than or equal to 3 mm then the acceptable reinforcement height of the reinforcement is 1.5 mm uh, there are two categories if if the design temperature is more than 400 degree celsius then there is one uh, condition and if the design temperature is less than or equal to 400 degree celsius then there is different condition so if the pipe thickness is less than or equal to 3 mm then uh, it the maximum reinforcement shall be 1.5 mm if the design temperature is 400 degree celsius and it can be 2.5 mm if the design temperature of that pipe is 2.5 mm so this is the maximum allowable reinforcement similarly if the parent metal thickness is more than 3 mm and less than or equal to 5 mm then in that condition the reinforcement shall be 1.5 mm for 400 degree celsius temperature more than 400 degree celsius temperature and if the temperature of the pipe is less than or equal to 400 degree celsius then th up to 3 mm can be acceptable so likewise if uh, between 5 to 13 mm means more than 5 mm and less than or equal to 13 mm then in that case also 1.5 mm is allowed for greater than 400 degree celsius and for pipe working at less than 400 degree celsius up to 4 mm can be acceptable similarly for 13 to 25 mm more than 13 mm up to 25 mm less than or equal to 25 mm up to 2.5 mm height of reinforcement is allowed and for less uh, than uh, 400 degree celsius 5 mm height of reinforcement can be allowed for 25 to sorry for 25 to 50 mm 3 mm is allowed and 6 mm in case of it is uh, working at less than 400 degree celsius and if the pipe thickness is more than 50 mm then the maximum allowable reinforcement is 4 mm for pipe designed to work at 400 more than 400 degree celsius and if the pipe is designed to work at less than 400 degree celsius then the maximum reinforcement can be 6 mm or it it can be 1.8 times width of the weld whichever is greater so if the width of the weld is something like 1.8 uh, something like x then 1.8 into that width of the weld and 6 mm whichever the value will be great greater that can be acceptable as a maximum welding reinforcement now moving to our next uh, indication that is any other linear indications any other if i say any other means other than these indications like crack lack of fusion incomplete fusion undercut and reinforcement so other than that any other linear indication can be allowed up to 5 mm means greater than 5 mm will not be allowed so any other linear indications more than 5 mm will be rejected so friends if you don't know about linear indication and rounded indication so let me give you a, you know brief description about linear indication linear indication is one in which the length of the indication shall be more than 3 times the width of the indication and rounded in rounded indication the length of the indication shall be less than or equal to 3 times the width of the indication in rounded indication the circular or elliptical shapes are considered now moving to our next uh, you know indication that is surface porosity surface porosity is maximum rounded indication so it is a rounded indication so surface porosity are allow are not allowed if it is more than 5 mm or if there are four or more rounded indication 
separated by 1.5 mm or less then that also be rejected now arc strikes mostly arc strikes uh, are you know uh, it, it is occurred on the parent metal uh, why it is occurred it is occurred when the electrode holder or the electrode is accidentally touched on the parent metal so arc strike is not at allowed arc strike is not allowed so these are the acceptance or rejection criteria for the well defects by visual inspection so friends i hope you like this video thank you very much